Welcome back to Studio 10, everybody. I'm Jerome Ritchie. This is Holly Sin, and Veronica Young is here from WQYK. We had Charlie Daniels here earlier know, how cool. talking about Charlie Palooza and the, the right. charity that it benefits. It's the Angelus, and we told you we were going to tell you more about it, and Veronica actually got the opportunity to go out there and see the great work they do. They've been around for 30 years, and I can't believe this is my first time that I got to visit the Angelus, but I got to tell you, it's an amazing place, and when Charlie says that they do God's work there, it's really true. Well, take a look at this, everybody, at the Angelus. A place to live, to love, to learn. The Angelus, nestled on a peaceful 17 acres in Hudson, is a home for severely handicapped persons who are not able to care for themselves. The Angelus started in 1979 in St. Pete, and I started it uh, mainly because of Missy, who you just met in, inside. She, uh, she, didn't have, she was only like seven years old and didn't have any place to live, and so um, I did a, a really quick search all through the state, and they didn't have any group homes in those days in 1979 for non-ambulatory people. I had a house in St. Pete, and I went to bed and um, did what I could to get it licensed. Within no time at all, we had 14 kids in one regular house. So uh, we outgrew it, and we didn't have any room to expand there, so we started looking for property. I came up here and uh, was fortunate enough to buy some property in Pasco County. We all together have built five houses now, and so, and this beautiful lodge. And uh, we have 32 people that live here. Most of them have been here since we started. There's quite a few that are still here. The initial residents are still here. They're enjoying life. They, uh, they have a great time here. We always have a lot of fun. We go a lot of places and do a lot of things. They come out of their shell. Uh, when they first come here, they're very shy, very introverted. They've been involved in a lot of programs where they are handicapped. And now here, they're just like everybody else. They're, uh, we treat them the same. Um, all the residents are treated just like the staff. They're just here, they're part of one big family, and they just have a good time. The residents of the Angeles enjoy day programs, which include classes in computer skills, arts and crafts, gardening, and they even care for animals. Oh, they love it, because, you know, they, we have the miniature horses, so they're eye level with the horse. Um, it's easy to groom them. They, they, they actually start reaching out for the animals. So we have a dog on the property that they, that they interact with. They have fun with them. The Angelus also features a wood shop where residents create various items, often to use as fundraisers. My friend Will is making uh, two shoe trains. We also make uh, reindeers and uh, ducks, flowers. Uh, we made some uh, dogs on wheels so they can pull it. Here. The work done at the Angelus does more than simply provide a place to live. These folks thrive thanks to wonderful caregivers. Therapy programs help to physically improve the quality of life for the residents, but it's the loving family atmosphere that truly sets the Angelus apart. It's a community that they can go from home to home free out on the property by themselves or with help. If they were at home or in an apartment by themselves, they may interact with one person throughout the day, maybe two. Here they have you know, we have 70 staff, which they see throughout the week, overnights, everything. Um, and then they have each other to interact with also. The Angeles receives a lot of support from its surrounding communities and beyond, and not just financially. Sports stars and celebrities pay visits to the kids. The celebrities are phenomenal. We've got um, a lot of the Buccaneers behind us. A lot of uh, the WWE wrestlers are behind us. Mike Allstott's been a huge supporter. Their generosity is unlimited. And no celebrity has a bigger heart and love for the Angelus than legendary musician Charlie Daniels, for whom Charlie's Lodge was built in 1999. He's just been so good to us over all these years and just bringing so much attention to us and because of that, more awareness. And of course, all of our residents think that he comes here just for them and he does, really, he really does. When he comes here for the prayer service on Sunday, that's the highlight of his weekend and he concentrates on them. And they they know it and they just take advantage of it. They take play us another song totally and it goes on and on. But uh, it's just heartwarming to see that relationship grow. And the Angelus continues to grow as a place to live, to love, to learn. I really think that the Angelus is almost perfect like it is. We just would like to maintain it and we would like to see carbon copies of the Angelus sprout out then because we think it's a terrific place. I'm just so grateful to have my family still involved and to have it go as we started it and to grow and keep 
take care of all the people that we have entrusted to us. You know, I, I feel terrible that I didn't even know that was there. I didn't. Isn't it amazing? And it's been around for 30 years. Well, you know, that's impressive. But to think that a, a facility like this didn't exist until almost the 1980s mm -hmm. is, is unreal. Yeah. Um, Pauline, who you saw in the story, she met Missy at a meeting. And during that meeting, um, she found out that Missy was going to be sent to basically an institution back there in 1979 because there was no place for folks like Missy to go. And that's why she decided to found the Angelus, which I'm telling you is so amazing. And these folks are so happy. And you can feel the happiness and the love when you go there. It's just, it's a place of great joy. It's well, amazing. everybody wants to find place and purpose. Right. And, uh, you know, when, when you're, when you're ha uh, handicapped like that, I, I mean, you know, you, you have a limited amount of opportunity opportunities and man what a, what a great facility you can attend Charlie Palooza and help to raise money for the Angelus but you can also just make donations all you have to do is go to the Angelus.com and of course we'll link you there also at studio 10 TV and we're gonna rope in our win stuff word today Angelus is gonna be our studio 10 win stuff word of the day it's your chance to win fabulous prizes just by watching this show and it's easy to play